Okay, what we've got here is a cooling system, uh, coolant evacuator and uh, and charger. So we've had we've brought in two systems into our into our new program. This is our bigger unit that we have of our two, which comes with the coolant exchange unit. Has a range of bayonet type caps. Has has the new new generation screw in type caps, external and internal. And for those that we can't fit out of this kit, we have a universal adapter. So this cone will then seal onto the onto the radiator. So either one of those will do it. Uh, there will be a limited amount of cars that we can't service with this range. So we have pressure testers and, and a whole range of caps, plus the ability to test caps themselves from this kit, which we'll show you later on. Now after we've gone through that, I'm now going to go through the coolant exchange unit. A couple of things I need to stress on that firstly before we start. This is actually a testing system for your cooling system as well, simply because if you have a leak in the hose or a split hose, uh, you won't create any vacuum. This principle of this unit works off vacuum, sucks all the air out of the system, and then will charge new coolant into the system. So I've got this hose here connected into the coolant, which we can see here. This hose here is connected to the air to evacuate air. So again, I'll stress, if we've got a fractured hose or a leaky hose, in some cases the cooling systems go into the charge station on the side, we won't create vacuum and we won't get air out of the system. So, having said that, we're right to go. First thing I need to do is turn the unit on. We're connected to shop air. So that's charged up, ready to roll. We have all our valves closed and you can see zero vacuum on our gauge. So I'll turn on the shop air, open this valve here, you can see mist coming through here, this is the air coming out of the system, our vacuum gauge is coming up. Once it gets up into the yellow section here, we've evacuated most of the air out of the system. The beauty about this, it'll get rid of any air pockets we might have in the system. So, it does take a little while to get up. You will notice sometimes, in most cases, your radiator hoses will collapse, and that's purely because you're pulling all the air out of the system. You actually want to see that happen. Okay. We're going to get. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to hold onto this hose, shut this valve here, open up this valve here, and you can see instantly we're charging coolant back into the system. This will evacuate any air pockets. You can still hear the air coming out of this system here, and that's purely because your coolant's coming into your, into your cylinder block and into your radiator. The coolant's coming down. still hear the air coming out of the line, so that means we've still got product going in. The radiator hose is starting to fill out again, so we reduce vacuum in the system, and we're heading back down to zero. Once we get to zero, I'll shut this valve off, and the job will be completed. That's it. And we have a full radiator system. So now we've completed the test. We've put fluid back in, we evacuated all of the air out of it, and now we're going to check the system to see what we've got in the, in the, in the radiator. So I'll just disconnect this. And of course, there's the water in the radiator. So it's all good, it's full, ready to proceed.